Hi guys, in this video we will discuss how to iterate our set in C++. So here we have created a set of integers. Now we want to iterate over all the elements in this set. We will show different ways to do this. First one is using iterators. For that we will first fetch the iterator pointing to the first element of the set. In this line we created a set and initialize it with different set of values. But internally set stores the values in ascending order. So the content of the set will be like this 8, 10, 11, 23 and 78. Now if we call the begin function of set it will return as the iterator pointing to the first element of the set like in this case that will be 8 now we can keep on incrementing this iterator till we reach the last element and during iteration and during that we can access each element for that we can use a for loop now inside the for loop we can create an iterator and make it point to the first element in the set after that we can check if iterator is not equal to numbers dot and that is the iterator pointing to the element next to the last element of the set like here it means that the end of set after that in the for block we can increment the iterator now inside the for block we can access each element using an iterator like here during the first iteration iterator it is pointing to the first element of the set so we can print that by referencing the iterator then print the comma after the first iteration we will increment the iterator and make it point to the second element that is 10 but before going into the for block we will check if iterator is not pointing to the end of the iterator it means iterator is valid or not if it's valid then we will just go into the for block and print it so it will print 10 after then again we will increment the iterator and make it point to 11 and then we will again print the value pointed by this iterator so we will keep on doing this till iterator is not equal to the iterator returned by the end function it means that the iteration is complete at the end we can print a new line character so if we run this code it should print all the values of the set in ascending order if you are planning to write a professional code or you are writing a professional code then always try to keep the length of the lines short for that you can use the proper indentation like this it will be good for other people who are reading your code so this is how we can use the iterators to iterate over all the elements of set and print them there is an another way that is without using the iterator for that we can use the same for block but inside the for block we will use the range based for loop auto element and then colon and after that the set variable in inside the for loop we can print the element directly it's a range based for loop introduced in c11 using this we can directly iterate over all the elements of a sequence or container like here we are iterating over all the elements of a set we don't need iterators we can directly get the element or the reference of the element and we can directly print it so if we run this code it should print all the elements of the set in increasing order like here so it printed all the elements of the set so these are the two ways to print or iterate over all the elements of this set that's all for this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the like button